Oh, Ella, this one is a very intense thriller. Into the Deep had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. Was there something about storyline or about Jess that really made you want to be a part of the movie? Yeah, definitely. I think the main theme of the story um, and the message of the film is what drew me to it most. Um, and also I was really intrigued to go on the emotional journey that Jess goes on, kind of healing from trauma and um, facing fears like the ocean. Not that I personally am scared of the ocean, but I was excited to be with the ocean in a way I never have done before in my life, if that makes sense. I was gonna say, my question for Matthew would be, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this, is, <laughs> this one is so intense and you wake up and you're out to sea so I can only imagine what Jess is feeling especially since she's just met this man what kind mm -hmm. of thoughts did Kate Cox the director tell you to be processing at that moment I think it's a mixture of everything you've said you know shock and fear and confusion and just overwhelming just loss of control and also something something happening to you without your consent the feeling of that um but Kate's direction was also to push that away and be excited about the fact that this handsome stranger has taken me out to the middle of the ocean. Because like he says, it's romantic. He thought it would be a nice surprise. And mm -hmm. am I not, is Jess not being silly by overreacting and, and not being grateful for this amazing thing this handsome stranger's done? Shouldn't she just relax and go with the adventure? So I think Kate's direction was to play and feel both of those contrasting emotions, which I think Jess feels throughout a lot of the film. <laughs> I mean, you are on a hundred adrenaline the entire, entire movie, uh, not just as a watcher, but I'm sure Jess is as well. How did you shake off a long day of all of that intensity? I think where I was staying when we were shooting the movie definitely helped me shake off all of the feeling. Um, Jess Alexander, who plays Lexi and I, lived like on a farm in Cornwall in the middle of nowhere. Every night you could see the stars and watch the sunset. So I think just being in such a calm environment was the tonic to the gin of our days at sea. <laughs> Well, talk about then working with Jessica Alexander. A, uh, she's probably responding to every time they say Jess, or I had to at least train herself not to. Uh, but there is a wild relationship between the two of you the entire movie. There's, you don't know from one moment to the next who to trust. Uh, talk about working with Jessica in those moments. I love Jessica Alexander so much. I think she's such a talent. Um, and as I said, because we lived together, we became such close friends over such a short period of time. And I think because we trust each other so much, we were able to really push each other in our acting and, and really toy with each other's emotions because we knew we were safe. You know, as people, we knew we were safe with each other. So as actors, we could be as free as we wanted to be. Um, and also, Jess, character Jess is very passive in the film. So many things, well, until she can't be anymore. So many things are happening to and around her. And to be able to trust someone that they can do things to you and say things to you and change your mind and control you in that way. Like, I just think it speaks a lot to our friendship and, and how long we got, how, how long, how well we got on. And Matt as well, obviously. I mean, I think some of my most, some edge of your seat watching was you holding the flare gun or uh, Ben yelling at you that you have to help him you know you have to promise him are yeah. those some of your most memorable moments or maybe favorite scenes you filmed 
They were definitely fun, but those scenes, yeah, those are so intense. Feeling those feelings and um, for, for Ben, not Ben, sorry, for Matt and I, feeling those feelings and that level of adrenaline is definitely really intense. It probably weren't my absolute favorite to film um, just because of their intensity. I, enjoy, I enjoyed like holding the flare gun and feeling badass, but also you get a headache when you're crying and being that, that physically tense all day, you know, it's quite overwhelming for your body to do that again and again. My favorite scenes to film were probably riding the jet ski, to be honest, because I got to just ride that jet ski across the ocean, chilling, it was so much fun. Jumping um, off the being, boat into the water. <laughs> no, that, that one was scary. That was, that was fun and it was a challenge and I felt so proud of myself for doing it. But that water was cold, cold. We're talking English ocean, it's cold. It was, you know, when I come up and I'm holding onto that jet ski and I'm holding on for dear life, that's real, there's no acting. <laughs> Uh, we talk about it being entirely edge of your seat watching from start to finish is that what you think it is that's going to make this into the deep a fast fan favorite thriller yeah I really hope so I really hope so um the first time I watched the film I was on the edge of my seat the entire time even though I know what happens I feel like it's it's such a good to watch a film that always keeps you guessing and always keeps you entertained and um, questioning. And yeah, like you said, on the edge of your seat. So yeah, I, I hope so. I really hope so. I don't think there's a single moment in the film where you can get bored because there's always something. No, you can never figure out who to trust from one moment to the next. It's intense. Exactly. How intense for poor Jess, honestly. She goes through a lot. <laughs> 